Nos vamos de viaje. The most important was the one in 2000. After five years of trying and being very close to it and not achieving it, uh, finally in 2000 to do it uh, was a big relief and success to all of us. The focus obviously was to be prepared for the first race and have enough reserve for all the rest of the year. Because in winter you have plenty of time to, to work out and to prepare yourself, which during the season, once testing uh, starts and racing starts, traveling is going on, uh, sometimes you, you sort of lack a little bit of time availability for your, your workout. So that's why I always had this uh, philosophy to be prepared 120% for what was required to still be 100% by the end of the year. And that meant naturally about uh, four to five hours a day of, of uh, working out a session in, in the morning and, and a session in the afternoon. Um, it's very different though from driver to driver and even from for personal satisfaction. I guess even doing two or three hours would have been enough uh, for, for some people if you can maintain uh, and if maybe these things don't go wrong. But these extra strengths that I always had and uh, it sort of allowed me to, to do sometimes things that uh, didn't seem maybe possible. Uh, so I can only advise, uh, do a little bit more. Yeah, it doesn't make any harm and it just uh, supports you in different, different moments. I always liked spa. Spa I call my living room, kind of, because uh, I've done my first Grand Prix, I won my first race, I won my last championship uh, and I, I have had many other things in the meantime. It's uh, another track that I, I rate very highly which is uh, in Japan is Suzuka, which is technically very uh, very high. So it's uh, these two tracks that I enjoy most. I mean mostly uh, I love to have around my wife <laughs> in just be because of uh, I felt very comfortable and uh, was happy to, to have a social contact, but I had anyway lots of social contact because in the team itself, it was uh, over all the years, it was many friends uh, that have been around. Mental preparation, no, I never really did except uh, sleep a little bit before the race, just to relax and, and, and feel refreshed before you finally go to the race. The only th Sad thing which which happened obviously in '94 was the the death of Ayrton Senna, which obviously was a big tragedy, and it would have been great to have him around for longer because he was at the time the master of uh, of the game, and to to fight him uh, was a great satisfaction. So, otherwise, I guess I, I have raised everybody that that I sort of know or or, or still happens to be around. Well, I think it's the biggest world changes we have had in a long time. Hopefully it's a target to uh, reduce cost and uh, even more to make racing more, more fun with more of a team. It will work out, but we will only see in the future uh, if the slicks and the reduced aerodynamics will just do that. Uh, we are just presenting our new car here, so let's see how it goes.